Hello, this is Will with RCBS, and today we'll be reviewing some of the frequently asked questions regarding the RCBS Matchmaster Powder Dispenser. In this video, we'll be covering the mode key and access to turn on or off select features. So the mode key lets you toggle through and turn on different features of the Matchmaster. To toggle through each feature, you select mode from the touch screen, and then use the two, four, six, and eight keys. The number two and the number eight let you sort through the variety of different functions, while the number four or number six allow you to turn functions on and off. So let's go through some of these different features. The first selection you see when you're in the mode function, so I'm gonna press the mode key, is auto. Auto is for your auto powder dispense and being able to turn it on or off. So in this mode, Every time that you pick up the pan and dump your powder charge, when you replace the pan, the Matchmaster will dispense another charge once it had become stable. So from the factory, the default is in automatic mode. And if you look on the screen, right above this number three, you can see that it says auto. Anytime it's in auto mode, you'll see the auto above the number three. So to turn on the automatic dispense mode, you select the mode key and you're into auto. So you press your go button and you can see that it's currently on. So you can hit the number six or the number four to turn it off. So now you see above the three, it is not there any longer. So whenever you go through these functions, you always hit the go key to either set that function or move to the next screen. So the next function in the mode menu we're gonna talk about is match mode. Match mode gives you the ability to weigh and dispense charges to four hundredths of a grain accuracy. To see if you're in match mode, you will see MAT right above the number one and above stable. Right now you can see it say, it say STD, that means standard mode. So to activate match mode, we're gonna hit mode, then we're gonna scroll through to where we see this, this match symbol on the front. We hit go. Right now it's turned off, so we'll hit the six or the number four to turn match on. And if you see on the screen, right above the number one in the stable, you see MAT, STD has gone away. Uh, you can also tell that your resolution on your, your ways over here, you have 0, 0.00 versus just a 0, 0.0. All right, if you wanna deactivate match mode, you just go through the same function, match, press go, and toggle when it says off, press go once again, and you're back in standard mode. The next feature that we're gonna talk about is the Bluetooth setting. So we'll go to mode, we'll hit the two button a couple times until we see BLE, this is for Bluetooth. So, once you see BLE on the screen, you can push your go button, and then you can see your ID of your unit. So this is very useful when you're looking at the unit in your phone to make sure you're and you're set up the correct unit under your Bluetooth settings. So if you select the go button again, you see an AB00. Zero, zero. So the A, which is this first digit here, is where you will see if you're in pairing or unpairing mode. If the unit is a zero, it's in unpairing mode. If it's in one, it's in pairing mode. The B, the second unit, is where you say if you have a password disabled or enabled. A zero equals password disabled. A one equals password enabled. So currently this unit is, the pairing mode is off and there's no password required. So to set a password, we're gonna cancel out of here, go to mode, go back up to Bluetooth, and we're gonna hit the Cal key. You see a, P, a PY right here. So you can enter a five digit number, we'll set one, two, three, four, five, hit go. And now there is a password required. And the password is set for the unit. Uh, the password's not required unless you go back through and set that one. So to clear the Bluetooth link, we'll go back to the BLE screen and press the zero key. And that clears any link of the Bluetooth with the unit. All right, so that was the Bluetooth pairing mode. All right, the next feature that we're gonna talk about is the custom powder configuration. Uh, this is a very in-depth process. So we're actually gonna create a separate video to cover this on the unit in much more in depth um, on how to adjust all those parameters. The powder feature, so we'll just scroll through here so you can see where it's at. It's this P-O-Y-D-E, we're on the screen. So you go through that. 
Um, sound is the next thing that you can control on the unit. To turn the sound, uh, you can scroll to where it says sound. If you go to two, it's gonna be the last screen, or from the home screen, you can hit eight and you're at sound. So to get the sound, you press go, and you can hit the six or the four button to turn off. If the sound is off, there will be no sound coming through the unit. Uh, one thing to note is when the sound setting is turned off, if you open up the powder drain, the alarm will not function. So make sure that you close your powder disc when you're finished draining powder, or you won't have that audible alarm telling you that drain's open and you can end up with powder all over your bench. Uh, so this video covered the mode screen and how to navigate and save changes. To find out more information on the RCBS Matchmaster Powder Dispenser and all RCBS products, go to rcbs.com and be sure to follow us on the various social media platforms.